Hello everyone, I'm going to quickly demonstrate a Cloudmersive file processing connector action which automatically detects the line endings of a text file. This new line type encoding can either be Windows or Unix format, and it's the encoding that allows developers and other technical folks to know how to search for line breaks in text files. Since text files are a common place to store code examples and other data, this connector provides a great way to store relevant text file metadata and make developers' lives easier downstream. As always, the first thing I'm going to do is click Create and get an instant cloud flow going. After I give my file a name, I'm selecting the option to manually trigger the flow, and then I'm clicking Create at the bottom to move on to the flow diagram page. The first thing I'm going to do here is set up a get file content action to get the text file I'm going to test with. I'm specifically using the SharePoint version of this action, so I just need to select my site address and use the file picker to navigate my file path until the right one pops up. Once the file name populates, I'm ready to add in the Cloudmersive action. After clicking New Step again, I'm now typing Cloudmersive into the search bar and selecting the Cloudmersive file processing connector with the purple logo from the list of options below. Once I click on that, I can search through the actions list for the detect line encodings action and select that. Please note that if you haven't used this connector before, you'll be asked to input your Cloudmersive API key and name your connection at this stage. To get an API key, just head to our website cloudmersive.com and register a free account or enterprise account. The choice is totally up to you and depends on the needs of your business. Free accounts provide a monthly limit of 800 API calls per month with zero additional financial commitments, so you won't have to worry about incurring any costs once you reach that limit. With connector access granted, I can now satisfy this action's parameters. First, I can use the dynamic content window to grab my input file content, and after that, I can copy the name of the file from the previous step into the second parameter. At that point, my flow design is complete, so I can click save and wait a few seconds for that to wrap up. After the flow finishes saving, I'm clicking test and clicking through a few additional windows before hitting run flow and waiting for the cogs to turn. For a small file, this operation is nearly instantaneous, so within a few moments I can check out the connector action's response body and review the outputs. As you can see here, the operation was successful and the connector accurately identified my text as Windows type in the primary new line type field. There's more to it than just that, however, you'll notice that the connector also counts the number of characters in the text file, which is another great piece of information to store with your text files. All of this information can be accessed and parsed anywhere downstream in your flow using the dynamic content window, so it's super easy to save this information anywhere you want in the Power Automate ecosystem. With my test complete, we've reached the end of this flow. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and look out for more Power Automate demonstration videos in the near future.